am the Umbreon Messiah! And this is more Spirit Temple on Let's Play the Ocarina of Time! <laughs> anyway, as we get into this room, I lose control of the boomerang as I try to clear the wall of keys. Take that. Now, it's really funny because I watched a, a video recently that explained, that explained in, in very amusing details how the boomerang in The Legend of Zelda does not work this way. Uh, it was worth watching, but I can't remember where it was, or so I'm not really going to bother you about it. Anyway, details aside, we are back in the Spirit Temple. I am now boomeranging Golden Skulltula. Why? Because I can. Awesome. And as we get over here... Link's going to turn into a zombie. Now this uh, has the odd effect of dropping that treasure chest, but unfortunately we can't actually get to it just yet. That's a little something for later. Anyway, going back through the door over here. We get to go through this door now. Yay! Ah! Stolfos? What? Oh, this could be bad. The Kokiri Sword was definitely not designed to deal with these things. Hmm. Yes, this is definitely not working out the way I'd find. Come on. Why did that still hit me? You know what? I'm not even going to question it. I just want this stuff was dead. And there it is, dead. There you go. Now you're dead. Now, as we get over here, we have another one of these really annoying puzzles. I don't really remember how this is supposed to work. There we go. The boomerang's a little wonky in this game. Just a wee bit. Not Ah! Flying pottery! Yay! Blue rupee! And now we take the door in here, and... Oh, I remember this room being a pain in the ass. What the... Oh, right. Um... I remember correctly. Gotta use fire against this thing. Yep. Oh, no! Fudge. Oh, well. Um. Huh. What in the world? Oh, yes. That's how you're supposed to kill it. All right, well, whatever. Oh, no. Wall Masters. Yes, we all know how well I get along with Wall Masters. Now, the interesting thing here is that you can climb the wall to negate the Wall Masters. They won't bother you as long as, you know, you're climbing something. A place where they couldn't possibly grab you, is it? And once we get this root, no, it's not that one. Where's the last one? There it is. Anyway, opening this treasure chest should, well, if the game would let me. Die, you freaking hand from hell! All right, well, forget it then. Opening this treasure chest gives us the small key we were looking for, and taking this rupee causes that to fall down. Now, as long as I keep moving, I will be fine. Go through the door, and we're home free. Sort of. All right. Crawling through this hole over here. We get back to that locked door I was so pissed off about. Ah! Sculptulas! I haven't seen those in a while. Anyway, they're not much of a problem. 
There is a golden skull here, as you can hear. Oh, come on, Link. Oh, come on. Stop being so difficult. Oh! Tar paste and a frilling that fret out of Anyway. I am going to make this infinitely easier on myself. Piss off. Beat it. Anyway. Um, I'm trying to... Okay, gotta kill these Skulltulas. This is the reason I wanted the bomb shoes. Right here. Um, not supposed to be swinging at that. Oh, for God's sake, Snappy. Any who please. Ah, Lizzle, folks. Except this time I'm not afraid of you because I have more than four hearts. Ha! Loser! I love how Lizzle folks only appear in places where little Link can do. Biatch! You be dead! Anyway, over here, we have this slightly difficult to destroy block. But if you have a bomb chew, it's rather easy. Whee! Boom! And that in turn shines the sun on that thing, which opens the door. Convenient! I don't know, I think they could have, should have called this place the Sun Temple. But who am I to judge? Oh, that's just cheap. Come on. I want to hit that switch and see what it does. Huh, a treasure chest. Look at that fall. Over there. How about that? Then in this treasure chest we have more bomb chews. Obviously to give you at least a shot at hitting that rock. And now we're in the main room of the spirit temple. Now, you're supposed to use the Scarecrow song later to get that. I, um, frankly don't give a rat's patoot, so I'm not going for 100%. I don't mind. And now, the coolest thing ever in the Ocarina of Time. And I missed it. I missed making Link float. Ah, uh, I feel sad now. Anyway. Inside this treasure chest, we find the map. That's incredibly helpful, isn't it? Well, our real goal is over here, next to these, ooh, delicious pots, which have nothing in them. Wonderful. Clearly, I want to push this switch. And to do that, I need to grab this statue and push it. Convenience is convenient. Alrighty. Through another large door, we end up in another silver rupee room. Now, one of the main things here is to light this brazier. Because you are going to need to light the rest of them. Um, that didn't quite work. Alright, well, whatever. I'm going to use bombs to get rid of these bemos. I feel productive today. Boom! Boom! Actually, I think you need to defeat all the bemos to light that one. I feel silly. Boom, you're dead. Oh, uh, no, oh, no, 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 that's it. <laughs> I am silly. The real goal here is to collect all the silver rupees. I seem to have remembered that at some point. At least I think that's what I'm supposed to do. There's a lot of things you need to do here. This one room has a lot of goals in it, I'm not going to lie. I don't like it. I'm pretty sure... Ow. I'm pretty sure if you collect all the silver rupees, it lights that brazier on fire. Oh, Link, you are such a disappointment. 
No wonder you came last in track and field in the Cockery Forest. Valkyrie. Valkyrie. I don't care how it's pronounced! The Legend of Zelda doesn't exactly have a dictionary that states how all of the words in its friggin' syllabus are pronounced. You know what? Forget it. This joke is dead. Just like my credibility. Anyway. That indeed lights that thing up. Glad to know I'm not completely ridiculous. Another goal we have over here is to pull these blocks out and pull this sun symbol underneath the light. Which can be kind of slow. Dum dee dum dee dum 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 dee dum. Da dee dum 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 da dee dum. Move. Move. Come on, Link. Put your back into it. I know you don't have a lot of back to put into it, but come on. I feel like I could be doing something more productive. Like maybe my taxes. Because, you know, that's what everyone wants to do with their spare time. Lug large blocks around. Okay, now I have to do a quick spot of this room. Now, that is really going to be the clincher, is those bloody... Ah! Uh, Nut-busting... Oh, why did that happen? Ah, oh, nuts. All right, well, let's try this again without so much failure. Light you. Light you. Ah, oh, come on, Link. Ah! Oh! Grievances! Why did that not light all of them? What's going on? Hmm. Why? Why does this keep happening? Why do I roll and only go like three feet? And then sometimes I roll and I go seven feet. Hmm. Conundrums. Anyway, now that we have done that and lost several hearts in the process, We get to open this treasure chest, which contains a small key. See, this was required of me. All right. Go through this door. Now, there's a golden skeletal in here, but do I care? Of course I care. What are you talking about? What do you take me for? Chuck a Conroy? Ah, ha, ha. Only like four people are going to find that funny. At least I'm not tall. There we go. Give me that. Thank you. All right, now we climb up these stairs, use this key, and oh, wow, we're already here. Ladies and gentlemen, meet the newest enemy in the Ocarina of Time bestiary, the Iron Knuckle. It's kind of a bitch. Luckily, Link is way too fast for this thing. Whoa! Okay. Forgot about that one. As you can tell, these things hurt a lot. Oh, and I'm dead. Yes. Don't mess around. I'm messing around simply to show you that they hurt a lot. But when all things come down to it, that's what this baby's for. Excuse me while I show off my newest magic spell. Iron Knuckles can also destroy the pillars around them to create hearts and money! Who would have thought? Ah! Ha! Yeah! Once they lose their armaments, they become much faster and much more dangerous. Ah! 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 Yeah! Die! Ah, do it! Yes, as you
as you can see, I am invincible with this on. And the Iron Knuckle has been defeated! Go, Link! Go, Link! Go, Link! Alrighty. Well, after that tough fight, it's time to get our reward! Hey, what's up, Arthur? Ah! Yes, I am surprised to see you, stalker! I thought we got rid of you! How does he know he I can do that? What? What? What are you talking about? Yes, yes it is. I understand this more than you do. Two witches inhabit this temple. In order to destroy them, turn their own magic power against them. No, I really don't. I will continue to watch you. Oh god, don't tell me that. That's just creepy. Anyway, in this treasure chest, being careful not to fall off the desert colossus and have to go through all of that again, we have the silver gauntlets! If I could wear them, I would feel power in my arms, the power to lift big things! But they don't fit kids. Plus, I promised Nibiru. Oh well, I guess we should get on that. Oh, whoa, what's going on here? Oh, that, that sounded wrong. Huh? What's going on? Oh, it's a malformed hand. Okay, this is sounding really wrong! Please, God, someone... Oh, thank God. She's just being kidnapped by witches. Wait, what?! Um... Creepy. You know, there's so many ways I could misconstrue that. Well, guess we get to keep the silver gauntlets then. Convenient, I suppose. Eh. Anyway, that's the video, folks. Next time on Let's Play the Ocarina of Time, I come back to the Spirit Temple as an adult and figure out just who those evil witches are. Can Link prevail? Of course he can. It's a Legend of Zelda game. When has he ever lost? I'm the Umbreon Messiah!